Here's another example where, in this case, trains are traveling in, in opposite directions. We have, suppose two trains leave Edmonton, Canada at the same time, traveling in opposite directions. One train travels 8 miles per hour faster than the other. In 1.5 hours, the trains are 162 miles apart. Find the speed of each train. Okay, what a mess. Right, but it's not as bad as it seems, right? If, if you try to just approach this and go straight to equations, maybe you can get it, maybe you can't. I highly recommend using this, right, times time equals distance, and then the table that goes along with it. Right, these problems are really helpful. For these kinds of problems, it's helpful if you use these tables. All right, so here's the table. The rate times time equals distance table. All right, rate times time equals distance. And let's see what we have here to fill in the rest of it. We have, well, okay, this train is faster. So I'm going to say a fast train, fast, and the slow train. The slower train, I guess. Okay, so we have a fast train and a slow train. Let's let, let's let x, because we're talking about speed, so speed is the unknown. They're asking us to find the speed, find the speed, so speed is the unknown. So let's let x be the speed of the slow train. Okay because that way we can just put an X here and the faster train is eight miles per hour faster. So then the rate here is just X plus eight. There we go. Okay, well it gives us the time in 1.5 hours. They left at the same time. So they've each been traveling for 1.5 hours. 1.5 goes here and here. And then we just multiply across to get distance. So we have 1.5 times x plus 8, and here we just have 1.5 x. Okay, they're traveling in opposite directions, and after 1.5 hours, the total distance between them is 162 miles total. Right, that's the total distance. This apart means the total distance between them. So we need to add both these two distances together, and when we do that, we'll get 162, and that is the equation we need from this table. Okay, so let's pull that equation and then forget about the table. All right, so we have 1.5x plus 8 plus 1.5x equals 162. Now the table really helped me find that equation. A lot of people try to go straight to the equation and get tangled up and get the problem wrong. So, you know, this table is really helpful. It's meant to help and it does help. Because now we can solve this, it's not too bad. All right, we'll distribute this 1.5 through. We get 1.5x plus 1.5 times 8 is 12 plus 1.5x equals 162. All right, combine like terms here. 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3x. So that gives us 3x plus 12 equals 162. Subtract 12 from both sides there. 3x equals 150, so x must be 50. All right. But you wouldn't want to just leave it like this. We haven't answered the question. We don't have any units. So let's go back up to see what the question is asking. And this is an important step at the end of every word problem. You go up and say, have I answered the question in its entirety, and is my answer reasonable? All right, find the speed of each train. Well, we have found the speed of the slow train, so let's do that. So here's our answer. We have the slow train. Slow train, we already know it's 50. 50 what? Miles, days, years? Well, we're talking about rate here. X is the rate, so it's miles per hour. Units are important. Okay, and the fast train. 
All right, well, hmm. The fast train is just eight miles per hour faster than the slow one, so 50 plus eight, 58 miles per hour. There's our two trains.